This is my review on a body cap, an Olympus body cap. Most body caps are boring and cheap. This one is different, it's interesting and not cheap. This is the Superman of body caps. It's a body cap, it's a lens, it's a fish eye. This is one of the most stupid ideas I've ever come across and I absolutely love it. Here it is as a body cap. And here it is as a fish eye. Can you imagine Nikon or Canon running with such an idea? No, far too frivolous. But Micro Four Thirds is not even a teenager yet. It hasn't learnt that photography must be a serious business. Even so, for around £90 or $99, it's too much to spend for an out and out toy. There's not much to describe. There's a lever and a blob of glass on the front. With the lever closed, it's a body cap. Move the lever and the glass appears and you have three set focus points. Infinity, a hyperfocal distance and a closest focus of about 8 inches or 20 centimetres. For all normal shooting, the hyperfocal distance is the one to set. If you are seriously close, with focus assist set for a magnified view, the lens is quite easily focusable. And yes, it is worth focusing because although this looks like a novelty item, it is actually quite sharp. There's notable vignetting and there's plenty of purple fringing under high contrast conditions at the edges of the frame. But with a lens that is designed to deliver an artistic rather than an objective view of the world, the vignetting just becomes part of the artistic impression. The purple fringing is easily enough eliminated in post-processing if you wish, but again you might prefer to leave it in as part of the aesthetic. If I'm going to nitpick, this isn't really a fisheye. At 9mm, it is 30% longer than the Panasonic Zoom I'm comparing it with here, and it doesn't cover the 180 degree diagonal view that a true fisheye would. Here is a comparison of angles of view. This is at 14mm, 28mm equivalent, and this is already a wide angle. This is at 7mm, and this is a wide angle. This is the Olympus as a lens cap, and this is it as a fisheye. You can see that it gives a substantially wider view than the 7mm. I tried to correct the distortion in Lightroom, but even 100% didn't get rid of it, so I saved the image and gave it a second dose. It's surprisingly good, and with correction is not as wide as the 7mm. But this lens isn't really about optical performance, it's about optical fun. Being so close gives you a sense of being inside of part of the scene you are photographing. It's really involving. It makes you see a bit differently and I found myself really savouring the deep black of large deep shadow areas and consciously using them pictorially, something I'd normally avoid. But with a lens like this, anything goes. Everything looks different. Strangely, after using this fisheye for a while, I started not to notice the distortion. The brain starts to compensate for it. Anyway, to sum up, this is a lens you most certainly don't need. But if your wife, husband, son or daughter is stuck for a birthday present or Christmas present for you, I couldn't think of a better one. Maximum wide, minimum price, maximum fun. Thanks for watching and thanks to ePhotozine at ephotozine.com for the use of the lens.